Every driver and co-driver lives with the constant dangers of rallying. But for Bertie Fisher, the next few high-speed moments were to present a terrifying challenge which would need every ounce of his skill. He's travelling at 120 miles an hour and he responds magnificently. Papers well done, Pete. It was one of those incidents that you often dream about would think never would happen. Uh, we had total brake failure uh, at a junction. Um, it, we have since discovered that it was due to a, a broken brake caliper. We were coming down about a 400 yard, 500 yard straight, something like that. Probably well in excess of 100 mile an hour. And uh, when I normally at that sort of speed, I would leave myself something like 75 to 100 yards for braking the car. And it was very clean dry tarmac so I was braking you know very very heavy and very very late when I braked very heavy there was just a snap inside the car just a like a click something broke and uh, the pedal went straight to the floor all I could see was a car and a lot of people in front of me and I saw two small children and I was I had my hand on the handbrake of the car with the thought going through my mind will I spin the car uh, I feel if I had spun the car at that point, I was out of control then uh, and would probably have hit some of the people. Uh, with so much momentum still in the car, you know, it certainly wouldn't have came to a stop by spinning it. At the last minute I saw what I thought was enough room and I just hoped that the children would not move. They just seemed to freeze in their position. And I saw what I thought was enough room between the front of a car, a marshal's car, which was blocking the road, and a wall. And I had a go and got it through. What well, could have been a potentially very serious accident, in fact, didn't happen. But it's the sort of thing that uh, we're both very, very concerned about, that had that possibly happened at another junction, where, which is lots of spectators, well then, you know, the thoughts just don't bear thinking about. Quite honestly, I think that 90% of spectators think that these cars are on railway lines. And they're not, you know, we're only human people that are driving them. The cars are all mechanical. Things can break and do break. Uh, you know, I think that um, we've probably been very lucky that there hasn't been, you know, much more serious accidents where a number of people have been seriously injured, you know.